Hi guys, Triple T Golf here. Gonna look at the journey so far of a beginner YouTuber like myself. Start off with your mobile phone. Believe it or not, you improvise with the equipment that you use. So for example, this smartphone is currently recording this whilst on a mobile phone holder that was made for a bicycle. Actually been attached to an old golf club that I don't use anymore and stuck up behind my desk. Uh, so once you progress and you start making the videos, uh, you want to get the best video quality you can possibly get. A perfect example of this, assume if you're watching this, you're into your golf and everything else, you might watch James Robinson, who's a heck of a lot bigger YouTuber than me, been doing it a lot longer than me, and he drops a video every single day. I think that's fantastic how he does that. But his video quality and audio quality are always really top notch. So you start looking on the market and you start trying to find things that's gonna make your videos a little bit better. And this is what it's about today. So I've just, just unwrapped um, the newest parcel and it comes in a nice little case. It's called, I can't really pronounce it. It sounds like I'm clearing my throat. It's a Hohem. H-O-H-E-M. Hohem. 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 Oh, that looks nice. It's um, it's one of these. Now, you've seen probably all the infomercials that come up on your Facebook or your social media and they've got the phone in and they're keeping it all steady. That don't look steady at all. Is that counterbalancing? Excuse me. Now, the one thing about buying things like this and trying to get really good deals is that you tend not to get instruction manuals. So, it's the face of an old confused man. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's a phone holder. So I imagine we'll put a phone in. So I've got my other phone here. Let's try and put that in. It's in a case. It looks like it's got... Okay. I'm not sure that's supposed to do that. <laughs> that don't look stable at all. Do I adjust things? What? That's really no good. I mean, it looks amazing, don't you? It's still got the plastic on it. Now, these things retail, I believe, at about £100. And I got this from a very well-known um, second-hand store that deals in electricals. Sounds like a naughty word. You'll probably guess which one I'm on about. And yeah, it was £25, I believe. Might be £25 or £28. Either way, uh, free shipping. Ordered it on Tuesday, came today. So, incredible service, but I don't know how it works. I like walking around golf course like that, aren't I? I'm going to look even more of an amateur than what I already do. Um, what's this? Ah, okay. So that's a tripod. Not an alien drone. So that's a, that's a tripod, so I'm assuming... And then that will stand up at some point. It's only a little tripod. There you go. I mean, if that was to be stood on the ground when the wind was there last week when I filmed, um, I'm pretty certain that would be blowing off. But, okay. So, all right, we can take that off for now. We don't need that on. The whole purpose of this is uh, for me to be able to hold it and, and track the other players that might play with me or, or whatever. Um, but that's not going to be any good. Now, do I need to turn it on? What do I do? Keep my finger on that. Oh, I've got some, ooh, some green flashy lights. Nothing's happening though. Oh! Oh! What just happened? Oh! Oh! What just happened? Wow! I like this. I'm doing that with my finger. Look! Look, I'm doing it. Look! Okay. Right. If Wow, that is, that is really good. Let's see if we can get you some example footage on it and let's try and get a little bit of spec behind this. Hohem, 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 hohem. If we can try and get some spec behind this hohem, iSteady Pro. Yeah, at least we've got a brand name now. Right, let me come back to you. What be long? What is going on? Oh, hello. Me again. Oh, no, we're going there. Right, okay, so yeah, a little bit about it. And it's, it's pretty cool, to be honest. And the key features of it, it's got quick mounting, quick release clip, and it's easily to mount for the camera. It's water resistant, which I didn't realize, which is amazing. Um, it's claiming that it can also charge your phone while it's actually working, which is great. Now, like I say, I bought this second hand, so there's no guarantee that the battery and everything else has been conditioned properly. Where is it going? Come back up here. Hello. Thank you. I don't know what mode I've got. I do need to learn a little bit more about the modes. Uh, for obvious reasons, so it doesn't do stuff like it just did. 
three axis stabilization and a study 5.0 algorithm no idea what any of that means but it's got it so yeah there you go I, I, i'm hoping that you didn't want some sort of professional review because that's clearly not going to happen three axis control mode switch trigger it has got a little trigger on the back which if you double click it it puts it back to center don't know if it does anything else yet i'm going to obviously have to google all of this um extension screw hole yes i am reading by the way on the screen extension screw hole on middle of bottom of handle so yeah it's got one of those as well the brand uh, bluetooth yes it has unless it's talking about a different one let's have a look ah this is the iSteady pro oh i've gone on the completely another wrong thing here well that just makes it silly doesn't it <laughs> we'll cut that out mobile plus this is me Features, 12 hour runtime. Okay. Sorry. So this now is the review for the Mobile Plus, which is what this is. It's designed for mobile phones. Because I have been thinking, how can I get better quality photos? And I can see these really good cameras that are out there and, and camcorders and things like that. But I just find it's, it's less convenient. And not only that, my phone is 4K. My phone is a wonderful camera on the phone. This is the front facing camera that I'm using now. And you can still see even that's decent enough quality. Yeah, I thought of an action camera. The little tiny things, I've got one here. Uh, these are great, fantastic little things, decent quality on them as well. But the sound on them is, is appalling. Sometimes when you look at the round of golf that I played the other day, the wind sometimes adds to the video. Sometimes it's really annoying, but for that particular one, I thought it was useful. So the modes that are in there is sport modes, inception mode, which provides 600 degree of image rotation, time lapse and track lapse. Now I'm yet to know what any of these things do because I've not really looked into them. But again, it'll be something that I'll um, I'll be looking more into and playing with it as we go along. The Chocham app. <laughs> Chocham. I can't get used to saying it. Face tracking, object tracking, motion time lapse, battery output, battery percentage indicate. Well, I'm assuming that's the little lights on the side or is the one on the app I don't know looking at the apps really good and smooth zone now if i pick this thing up which is supposed to be the whole sort of purpose in this you can see although i am moving it about everywhere it is still trying to keep it still there we go so yeah need to make sure it doesn't do that on me on a golf course but overall i'm, I'm kind of to say it's a first view where are we going here <laughs> Can we zoom out? I'll tell you what else I found as well about it is when I looked at the actual uh, backwards camera and I put the footage off of that, it had the ability to zoom in further than what my actual phone does. Now, yes, the, the footage is grainy and it's not the greatest of, uh, of shot at the end, but, I mean, it's incredible. So I'm going to do what you can probably see now on screen. But I'm going to also show you what it's kind of looking like at the minute in front of my laptop. Um, you've got the flashing lights to indicate the mode, the Bluetooth that it's on. You can't really see the lights on the side, but they are there. Um, you have the... Not 100% certain what that screw port's for, unless, it, unless it's to go on a bigger tripod, don't know. Probably. And then inside here, you've got what I assume is the charging port. There you go. You've, so you've got the USB port and you've got the charging port as well. So that's to charge the actual unit itself, and that is for the external power, which is fantastic. I had a video, I think it was with a beginner golfer not very long ago, that we ran out of battery. So if this can double up as a power bank, then that just makes it even more incredible. But yeah, that's me filming me filming me. Told you, professional review, this is not. Hopefully the quality of the videos might get a little better. Who knows? They might not. Um, therefore, I might find that I don't need it. And I might end up putting it back on CEX website. So yeah, in addition to everything else, look, I've also figured out face tracking. <laughs> Little things. It still works. Works well. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so yeah, I mean, pretty much. We've got it on human body tracking, I think. There you go. So this is tracking me. So again, when I'm moving out of the scene, it's coming round. Uh, it's got object tracking on there as well. Is it still coming? Yeah, it's still coming. There we go. So, yeah, that was a review of the Hochem iSteady mobile gimbal. Um, told you it was never going to be a good review. Told you it was not going to be professional, but that's what it is. And it's still tracking me, I believe. It's still tracking.
That is, I, I, I think that's ace. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please comment. And please, if you like all the stuff that we're doing, subscribe. We're trying to grow the channel. We're getting closer to that 1,000 subscriber mark. Um, and that means a world to me. We've got lots of big things coming up where hopefully we've got new people that's going to join. Track me. Track me. Come on this way. Thank you. Uh, we've got new people that's going to join me on the course. We're going to play a few rounds together, mix it up a little bit. Uh, we've also got something really exciting that might be happening as well. But again, I don't want to talk too much about that just in case it falls through. So, weekend's coming up. We're on Thursday now. And yeah, let's, um, let's get out there and play golf as much as we can. Cheers, guys. Please, like I say, drop a like, leave a comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Triple T Golf signing out. Awesome.